In this video, we are going to show how to add a post to a Padlet. So first we're going to open up our Padlet here, and this is a reflection Padlet, and it is set up for a wall style. So in the lower right corner, there is a pink plus sign. You can click on this to add a Padlet post or you can double click anywhere on the background to bring up this menu which allows you to type in a subject or title. Often you'll be asked to type your name here in the top so you can add a title up here for your post and then down below where it says write something incredible this is where you can put the bulk of your response and um, so you can type anything down here as your uh, response to the prompt. Then there are some shortcuts for the things that you can add. You can upload a file, you can take a photo, so that will bring up your camera on your device. You can embed a link and you can bring up an image search as well as bring up more options. So click on the three dots to bring up the full menu of all of the things that you can add to a Padlet post. So you've got your camera, you can also record your voice, so you can drop in a voice note, you can do a screen recording or open up your camera and do a video. You can also click on the drawing option and it will bring up a blank canvas like this. You can set your uh, colors and do a brief uh, drawing to embed into your post. You can also um, paste a link to embed a website and then you can click on the search option and it will allow you to search for images, GIFs, YouTube videos, music on Spotify, as well as websites. So we're just going to do a brief image search here to see what we can embed. And so you can see there's lots of options straight from Google Images. And if you click on it, it will embed it into your post and you can add a caption. You can click the remove option and it will bring back all of your choices for things to add. You can click on GIF and it will bring up the search options and you can um, see uh, your GIF options for searching YouTube. Same thing. It will bring up the search, but YouTube will be selected and we can search for a video to add. So you'll search YouTube and be able to embed um, a YouTube uh, video. Um, we'll remove that and bring up our image options again by clicking on the shortcut here for image search. And uh, then we'll just type in uh, Padlet and then bring up some of those image results. So again, just clicking on that and it will embed it into our uh, post and click publish and that will be live on the Padlet and other participants on the Padlet will be able to see that. You can also change the background color in the lower left corner um, for your post. So ours will be purple when we uh, publish it. So we're going to uh, go through and show how to embed a website. So we switched over our puppy image results searches and went to a website search. And now we've embedded the uh, Wikipedia page for a puppy. And so you can embed websites. It pulled in the image for that website. But if you click on that picture, it will bring up the full website. So it's embedded in our post. So if we click on that, you'll see it brings up that full website result. And so that is an option for what you can do in your posts in Padlet. So here we have a shelf version of Padlet. And instead of the pink plus sign in the lower right corner, we have plus signs right under every response option um, for our columns. And it does look the same. So if we click on that plus, we still have the same options for what we can add to our post. So here we're adding an image to support our question um, to go under that column. So the plus sign is under the columns. So your responses are um, under the corresponding column. So that is how you can add a post to Padlet. Look for the plus sign.